Okay, as we... As I get some of my loot, because undoubtedly there's a chest up here, some sort of cave or something. I know it's not the shrine, because the shrine's over there. I want to ask you guys a question. So, a lot of my opinions of Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom um, are, are are born out of completely... There's another one of these... These. What? That's so weird. So there is a way to get in here. I think. Because there's probably a way to get in in the Thunder Thundra Plateau. Which I've been mispronouncing this entire time. But I don't know how. So in the comments, please tell me. But uh what I was saying. <laughs> My opinions on Breath of the Wilds Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom are a little bit different from all of yours. Uh because I'm I'm experiencing it in a completely different format than anyone else. I'm experiencing it once a week, or well, I guess once every two weeks, aided by comments, and I'm trying to entertain as I go through the game. And those are all things that your average, your average player doesn't get to do. So, whereas, from my perspective, because I'm, I'm looking at it from pacing episodes and and mixing things up for content, I see all the different things you can do in this this game compared to Breath of the Wild as a massive plus. All of the different content, since I know I'm going to be exploring this, um, this map anyway, it's all bonus for me. I, I enjoy what they've done with, with this overworld, even if it is, quote unquote, the same map. Because I think, I personally think the same map complaint is a little bit foreign to me. Because it's not the same map. Yes, the hills are... I keep thinking those are Lynels. Yes, the hills are the same. But... Can you really say that this is the same map when everything on it is different? Like, they don't really recycle anything. So we, I, I don't really understand where the complaint is coming from. Uh, I'm trying to go to the left there. I'm gonna skirt these hills because undoubtedly there is stuff on top of them. I don't know, I just don't really get the complaint. And then, uh, one thing I have heard from most people that have played the game that I've, I've spoken to is that they burnt out on it. And they, they never complete it. They got, you know, to the second, the second champion and then they just lost interest in playing the game. Which... I do kind of agree. We are on episode 100 and... What is it? 135? I, I don't actually know. 139? And... I mean, look at the map. It speaks for itself. We are... We're not even halfway through the game. Like, we're almost halfway through the game. But we're not... We're not there. Like, this is probably going to be a 300 episode Let's Play, which is wild to me, because I am not playing slowly. Yeah, I could cut... I could cut out... A little bit more than I do, like this, and and make the episodes nothing but content. But I already cut out a lot as is. I cut out all the Korok seeds compared to Breath of the Wild, where I showed them. And hi. I guess we ascend. So I'm just curious. What are your guys' complaints about this game? And obviously, please give them without spoilers. If the game ends poorly or in some other way, uh, it doesn't stand the... It, it starts to get tedious towards the end. I don't know, maybe there's like a Wind Waker-esque... fetch quest right at the end of the game. I, I don't know, I don't know, maybe then that would be a very valid point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, perfect. <laughs> All in one. Yes. Man, we're getting, I guess we're getting three Koroks for the price of one. Here's your drug dealer. Oh, I noticed something, Um, I noticed a bug last recording session while I briefly paused my topic. I, I saw a bug last recording session where we accidentally cloned a Korok. Uh, there was a- one of these quests where we have to bring a Korok from point A to point B. I made a raft. And when talking to the Korok, you'll notice that 
it didn't really have enough room to place the raft and separate it from the Korok Seed. Also, this is the first Mighty Thistles we've ever gotten. That's wild. And so what it did is it moved, quote unquote, moved the, the raft I made underneath the Korok before then separating them and having the second Korok, the guy in the bag, this guy, be an NPC again, not an object, because I can't move him anymore. And the difference between the two is that he does this. And if you pay really close attention to the recording, it respawns him like this. It fades to black and then fades up, but the raft is still underneath him. And then for a brief moment before I turn the camera, you actually see that he starts sweating again. In other words, I think he turned back into an object. And so I believe that I might have stumbled across a very, uh, very precise Korok duplication glitch. Now, granted, this one isn't as, uh, isn't as sexy as it sounds, because the result of it would be that you're able to bring Koroks, uh, to, like, their destination without having to find their, their origin, necessarily, but that's almost completely useless. It, it was just something interesting to note. Um, I, I found a lot of weird bugs in this in this and Breath of the Wild. Uh, where's a boulder? Is it down there? Yep. Okay, that one's easy. I can I can talk over this one. Uh, my f absolute favorite bug that I found was after beating the Champion's Ballad in Breath of the Wild. Well. The Champion's Ballad, when you first undertake it, it gives you a weapon called the One-Hit Obliterator. And this is a weapon that, true to its name, makes it so you can one-hit any enemy in the game. It basically has infinite power. However, it, re it reduces you to one quarter of a heart. And after doing the initial trial in the Champion's Ballad, they take the weapon away from you. And you never get it again. However, at the end of the Champion's Ballad, as I was wrapping wrapping that up, it briefly spawned and fell past me and then fell through the world. And there was a tiny prompt. There was a there is a world where I could have pressed A and caught it because it was a weapon. For some reason, it spawned and then fell through the world. And I always wonder, I will go to my deathbed wondering what would have happened had I pressed A. Was it just uh, visual bugs for some reason? Was it an actual object? Would it have reduced me to one quarter of a heart? What would it have done? And I have no idea the answer to any of the qu those questions. Also, this was the last thing I expected from the shrine. It looks like we're going to have to find the Gisa Crater. I'm guessing... that our, our shrine is actually down there and we need to bring it up. Let's find out. The Ikatak Shrine. And... Seek the crystal connected to the beam and offer it at the shrine. Do so and I will grant you a light that banishes evil. Sure enough, the Gisa Crater Crystal. Oh, it's just... It's just in this non-descript cave? Alright then, uh, you guys can kindly die! Later! I don't know if this is supposed to be scary... Uh, can I kill them both in time? I think I can. Yep, easy! I kind of expected a boss fight. This is a very... strangely simple... Can I drop a thing? Do I have a thing? I don't. Well, I don't yet. There's some epic foreshadowing there that you can, you can imply. I mean, I'm, I have 80 Korok seeds, so... If you can't guess what I'm alluding to, then, um... You know what? Just enjoy life's little surprises, then. Bless you and your heart. I don't know what this actual this shield actually does, if it does anything unique. Okay, before we move on, is there anything besides ore? 
It really doesn't look like it. Luminous stones. Opals. I'm going to need Zonite, actually, though I'm probably going to farm that off screen. Because I have I have a pitiful number of Zonite left, left. I mean, look at this. Oh, I have none. I have none. I actually just have six left. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I could definitely use some Zonite. What is the best way for me to do this without... I got those chests. I don't know what's in... Oh, I haven't actually grabbed this chest. This chest contains something really sweet and awesome and a feathered spear. Okay. And some rockets. Well, uh, that's not how I intend. I thought I was going to be solving this issue. I don't know if that's going to work. I guess I can recall it. No, that'll work. This'll work. I want you all to trust me and ignore any shorts you might have seen on my channel. That was close. Got it. Got it. Whew. Yeah, ignore all the shorts you've seen on my channel. I've grown, dang it. I am a, a skilled adventurer and a content creator who does stuff stupid, does stupid stuff just for the memes. Come on. You who offers the crystal, I gr will grant you a light that banishes evil. I will give you this pop rock. May it pop once and then taste slightly mediocre, but be memorable because of the sound this food makes. Our food doesn't, uh, doesn't make noise anymore, not since we became civilized and decided to kill our food before we ate it. But man, <laughs> man was cannibalism exciting. Is this thing on? <laughs> Raru's Blessing, the Ikatok Shrine. A big battery. Honestly, I'll never turn one of those down. Even though I basically have infinite batteries at this point. And obviously, an orb of light. Tear? What are they called? Tears of light? Orbs of light? The the white balls? What what are they? Orb ball light of blessing! Yes, that is what it is. I have 16 of those now. And I do believe that concludes our time in Hebra and Central Hyrule. However, before we depart, there's one thing I would like to do to commemorate this, this occasion. And that would be... So I've talked about saving up my collectibles until such time as I believe that we have performed some sort of major accomplishment, some milestone in our journey. However, I don't think that what we've done merits me using my, my Lights of Blessing yet. But we've done a lot of exploration, even if we haven't really had a hard go at it. The Lights of Blessing can wait. Instead, I would like to commemorate all of the, the exploration that we've done by using all 91 of my Korok Seeds. Starting with bows, because I need so many more bows. I upgraded my weapons once, my bows twice, and my shields once. And I think... No thanks. I, th I feel like I'm in a great spot. We have a great inventory. We, I mean, I guess I, I need to get some more Zonite off screen, but that's, that's off screen. That doesn't matter. Uh, do I have any crystalline charges? I don't think I do. I haven't really been, I haven't been getting that many. Uh, where do I even see that? Ah, two more energy wells. It's not nothing. And with that, 
other than the Thunder Plateau and as well as the, uh, the, the ancient columns and the secrets therein, I believe that accounts for everything. I, I will start off next episode if I get the feedback in time uh, with those two things. Otherwise, I'm going to move on. And I'm going to move on to Lake Hylia, Southern Hyrule, as we work our way east into Nekluda. See you guys then. Oh, crap. I forgot to mention it. Hold on. Let me go down to the depths. I have something to show you all. I upgraded my glowing armor to two stars, and I have no idea what the set bonus is, so we're going to find out together right now. Okay. Hopefully this is worth ending the episode. Miner's mask, miner's top, and miner's trousers. Shining steps. What? What is... What is happening? Do I need to go into the dark to see this actually in effect? Oh! Hello! I didn't know that you were here. Uh, I don't want to fight you. That's going to happen later. Okay. Let's fly a little bit closer to the ground as to not attract any attention. And leave him alone. I'm really te You have no idea how tempted I am to kill this man. I get a reward out of it. Maybe I kill him. Would that be a cooler way to end the episode? You know what? Skip it. We're going to kill him. We're going to do it after I, I show off what this does. What does this do? This seems incredibly pointless. What is... What is the goal here? I don't... I don't understand why this is a thing. Hi, where are you? Let's stick to the air. I don't see him. There he is. Please don't hit me, bro! Yeah, this is a cool way to end off the episode. I'm kind of down with this. That's a one. I always miss the first shot. It's okay. It's okay. All right, do your worst. In fact, I might be able to make use of a trick this time. Let's equip the proper gear, shall we? Let's do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> you guys had mentioned that. I just never had the opportunity to do it since you mentioned that I could just face plant through this boss and kill him with nothing else but my face. Do I just kill him with nothing but my face? What are you doing? What you doing? Are you going to attack me? Come on. Come on. Do it. You'll hit me this time. Gotta dodge, gotta dodge, gotta dodge, gotta dodge. And break him. Ow. See, he's teleporting. Not a problem. Where is he teleporting to? What do you think you're doing? Huh? I outmaneuver you so easily. You're like, you're literally a worm. And you think that you're at the top of the food chain? And that I'm not? Think again. Think again. Oh, we got the nice theme coming in. It's a little bit out of place in the depths, but that's okay. Navigate around him. Don't hit me, bro. Phase two. Phase two, and, well, I mean, I, yes, I fired a shot, but it missed, so it doesn't count. It's like, um, it's like getting hit once in Smash when playing as Ness, and you still manage to, you absorb a projectile, go to zero, and then JV5 them. It's a JV5. Kind of. It, it, it counts. It, I think it counts. Come on, Tulin. Let's see if we can perfect this guy. I don't know if he uses that attack in phase two. What are you doing? What 
are you doing? Ow! Oh, no. So much for perfecting it. Let's get out of the way. Those tornadoes are so big. Got it. Okay. Well, so much for perfecting him. However, however, hear me out. I mean, can you... One, one moment. I'm at full health. Go. Come on. Got it. That's so cool. That's so cool. This is such a weird way to end this session. It was, it's kind of like an asterisk. I, I realized that I had gotten this armor last session and I hadn't mentioned anything about it. Oh, wow. He managed to hit me. I didn't think he could. I didn't think it was possible. And then I remembered at the end of this recording session, and I knew that if I just kept forgetting, it was never going to happen. So I showed it off, and here we are fighting Kolgara. This is I, honestly this is probably a better way to end off the session anyway. This is this is cool. This is cool. It's well off the beaten path. Um, it's a little bit impromptu. Probably not the narrative that I want to push, but it's okay. This probably should have been. Um, the dragon but it's not one more hit and then we get our, our reward where are you going teleporting how gutless you know why because suicide is the coward's way out <laughs> okay buddy yeah 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 I love the music. Also, it's funny. I got my new armor, and you'd think I could be able to show it off here, but it's it doesn't do anything in the air, and it really doesn't do anything, period. Uh, I'm going to die below it this time. If I can't. I can't! Tulin, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. I didn't realize it reached the ground. Woo! Am I still gonna get hit? I am right outside the range. Oh my word. <laughs> that was crazy. Okay, I'm right next to him. Now's the time for him to use the attack. Now's a better time than any. I wanna try to do this without my bow. He's doing it. And there's my door. Come on. He's not leading his shots at all. I don't know if I'll get there in time. Got it. Oh, I almost overshot it. Huh. Well, it's kind of cool to see that Kolgara is uh, outside of Hebra. I mean, this is the bottom part of the map. You almost can't get further south than this. And, of course, we get his horn. I don't know if I can use it. I guess I'm using it on... on the spear. A little bit odd. And our reward is... It should be a piece of gear, right? How do we end off this recording session? It is with a huge crystalline charge. Okay. Eh, okay. That's fine. I guess. All right. Next time in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I'm probably going to warp over over here. Uh, actually, no. I'm probably going to start it out on this trail. And we're going to ride south. And retake the Bridge of Hylia. See you guys then. <laughs>